Excuse me, everybody? I know I'm just another delegate from Pennsylvania, but before we vote on ratification, I have a few things that I want to say. Yes, I, I know we've all been here for a long time and we want to go home, but hear me out, hear me out. I just want to say that across the course of this convention, I have been uniquely horrified with the behavior of this group. It's true. Every single one of you has disgraced the names of freedom and liberty, and if you desire any hope of redemption, you will join me in rejecting this farce that some would have us call a constitution. I call for this rejection on the grounds that we have absolutely failed to address the most serious issue facing us at the dawn of our new nation, which is the blatant contradiction of our espoused values against their, our protection and enshrinement of slavery. To my countrymen in the South, you should be ashamed of your disgusting exploitation of our fellow humans. To my countrymen in the North, you should be ashamed of your spinelessness and allowing yourselves to be cowed into making concession after concession, chipping away at the moral soul of this country. The first place we must start in righting this tremendous wrong is with an immediate ban on the importation of slaves. Without a doubt, the damage that will be done by allowing the importation of slaves to continue will serve no purpose but allowing the Southern economy to become even more deeply reliant on slavery. Even after 20 years, the South has made no promises that the slave trade will actually end. They just weakly agreed to allow the issue to be brought up for debate. My fellow Northerners, I have only one question for you. Are you too stupid to realize the trickery that is going on under your own nose? Or are you too lazy to continue the fight for equality and freedom that we started with the revolution? You Northerners try to placate yourselves through the paper authority of a broad commerce power, but it's just that, a theoretical, empty paper authority with no guarantee you'll ever be able to actually use it. And while I'm on this topic of Northerners settling for deals where they get the worst end of the stick, are we seriously cool with tolerating the slimy and nefarious backdoor political wheeling and dealing that gave us the new Northwest Ordinance? Not only have we settled for a fraction of the territory we're entitled to, but we're just going to lay down and allow the South to walk all over us in demanding the return of fugitive slaves? And for what? Economic expansion? We want to compromise the moral backbone of our nation so we can flex our power on some new territories? I'm ashamed to be associated with such an affront to the American people. What was the point of the revolution if we're just going to reestablish a system of secrets and deal cutting? Allowing the South this amount of freedom and expanding slavery into the West is a huge mistake that's only going to entrench slavery further. Northern Brothers, today we can take a powerful stand and set our country on a path to where all men are truly created equal. We have power in this most important matter. The South needs us as much as we need them. And the North has already made far too many concessions. Southerners, I beg you to realize the gravity of what we are doing here today and search your hearts for what you know must be the right thing to do and join me in abolishing slavery. Slavery will surely be one of the darkest scars on American history, but today we can end the injustice and set the tone for a better America. We cannot possibly believe that our country can be successful when the Constitution is nothing but a conglomeration of backdoor deals, concessions, and moral depravity. Do we really want our legacy to be a government that is fine with the enslavement of human beings? Americans of the future need those of us here today to set a higher bar for this country. Therefore, I think the only acceptable course of action is to scrap everything that we have so far and completely start... Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Go back to England.